Hey guys, welcome back to Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at a very, very powerful OP, just, oh, oh my god, monster. So as you can tell by the title and the name of the card, you already know this shit's gonna be powerful. This is Blue Eyes Ultimate Darkness Metal Dragon. And the card art looks pretty cool. I like it. It's kind of like a fusion between Red Eyes Darkness Metal and Blue Eyes Ultimate with the three heads. It, it looks cool. I like the card art. That's pretty much the only thing I like about the card. Anyway, it is a dark... Level 12? That looks like level 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, 12. Uh, Fusion Dragon Effect Monster with 6,500 attack and 6,000 defense. Oh, God, that attack stat's way too damn high. That attack stat is just too damn high. Damn. It is a fusion between Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Okay, so, what, you fuse into Blue Eyes Ultimate, do it work, it goes to the graveyard, I guess, then you can just go ahead and summon Red and Red and bring this back and infuse into this guy? Okay. You know, you can also do substitute, so, you know, you can go ahead and fuse Red Eyes Darkness Metal with, like, you know, because it doesn't say that you, it can only be fusion summoned with, um, you know, this particular card, so if you got Red in, like, a, uh, uh, what's that thing called? I forgot the name of that card, what the hell is that card? Uh, tsh, 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 let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. It's a fusion substitute. Uh, like that water one that you can pitch to get poly. Yeah, you can go ahead and run it with that. I forgot its name. I really did. <laughs> um, anyway. This card must be, oh, well, first, first fact, it's always treated as a red eyes card. So despite being blue eyes, it's also a red eyes. So, I guess. <laughs> it must be fusion something. It cannot be f summoned by other ways. Okay, so if it dies and goes to grave, right, you can't, like, call the haunted or, or you can't soul charge it, but you can soul charge the cards that make it. <laughs> uh, you can, uh, special summon one dragon-type monster from your hand deck or graveyard. Wow, so just get access to anything. So, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Can you loop this as long as you have polys? You can go fuse into this. This will bring back Redum. Redum will bring back Blue Eyes Ultimate. Fuse again. That summon, the second one, will bring back Redum. Redum will bring back Blue Eyes Ultimate. Fuse again. This will bring back Redum. Redum will bring back Blue Eyes Ultimate. So you could have three of these, a Redum and a Blue Eyes Ultimate on the field. Holy shit. That is a lot of damage staring you down in the face. Like, ooh, wow. Uh, let's hand deck or graveyard just summon it just summon any dragon that you want you want an e-dragon summon it you want redum back summon it that's a, that's the thing you can summon it back redum so you can summon this to summon redum to summon another card that's just wow and that's just its first effect and it's 6500 like that's that's already game like if this gets a direct attack and redum gets a direct attack that's game gg you lost <laughs> holy crap its other effect is you can banish dragon type monsters from your graveyard max a three this card can attack that many times this turn. Wow, so you can banish three and just go attack, 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 game. You know, it's not even like like Chimera Attack Over Dragon where you can only attack monsters or like BOS or where you have to attack a monster before you get to just No, just attack three times. Just bam, 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 three. Bam, damn. Damn, that's strong. It's like, uh, it's like, a trident dragon or whatever it is but at least trident dragon you have to you know tribute shit on your field you at least have to neg to pull up you're not negging from this that your graveyard is not resource you know so that's that's not even a cost that's a condition so you just get rid of three dragons which you'll probably have in your graveyard since you're playing a dragon deck and you know you're gonna probably splash your e-dragons you know i know you got i think you don't you don't mind banishing three e-dragons you know go ahead activate this banish a title banish a redox and banish a tempest oh all three of those got banished okay let me search for uh wood dragon water dragon and a debris dragon and then attack you and tear your butt up so even if uh my shit backfires with this card i still got cards to get me back into the duel and then you can only use the effect of each of you can only use each of the effect of Blue Eyes Ultimate Darkness Metal Dragons. Okay, well that at least amends the whole looping thing. I should have probably read that to the end, but you know it's a good thing that he put that because that's, that's some stuff. But you could still go summon this, summon Redem, and Redem can still summon something else. So that'd still be game. And like I said, it you can do a substitute. You can do a substitute. 
And I think that's a pretty powerful card. You know, and you should have made it kind of like um, End Dragoon, where, you know, well, not even End Dragoon, because you can really substitute with End Dragoon, can't you? I don't think so. I don't think you can substitute for End Dragoon, like, you know, use the substitute fusion cards. I think it has to be those cards. So you probably should have done that for this, where it has to be Blue Eyes Ultimate. It has to be Red Eyes Darkness Metal. The 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 the, the Red Eyes Darkness Metal. That's fine. The Blue Eyes Ultimate, because that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Because you got to bring out Blue Eyes Ultimate, then you got to fuse with it. You know, if that's the case. But since you can use fusion substitutions with this card, because it didn't say that you can't, then you're just going to get kicked in the face because you know, just you know, I just splash in a little bit of those uh. Those aqua. What the hell is the name of that card? What the hell is the name of that card? It's gonna bother me. Hold on, I'm gonna look up the name of that card right now, right now, because that's just bothering the living hell of me. I know it's a monster. It's an effect monster. I know it's. I don't know what type it is. I know maybe aqua. I know it's water. Okay, I know it. So what is it? King of the Swamp. King of the Swamp. Ah, see. King of the Swamp. So, you can go ahead and substitute just, in your Dragon decks, just go ahead and substitute some, uh, some King of the Swamps and some, uh, some Polys and just, you know, get rid of them to your... It's just like, it just powers up Chaos Dragons even more. You know? Just go ahead, send the Quips, Quips, go ahead and banish it, get your Redom to the, uh, to your hand. You got King of the Swamp, you got a Poly, go ahead and fuse them into this card. This card, go ahead and bring back Redom. Redom, go ahead and bring back something else from your hand or Graveyard. And, boom. GG. Like, wow, that is really, really powerful. Just because you can substitute for it. Like, if you couldn't, then eh. But since you can, then no. And 6,500 that can attack twice, like, holy crap. So tell me what you guys think of this card. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I'll see you guys next Friday with another Fake Card. Thanks for watching.